Not that way. What's down this way? Nothing. Okay. Where the flipping heck has she gone? We can't that way. Um. Nothing that way. We can't go in there. We can't go in there. Um. I just can't get through to mom with dad always spying on us. Do we go back in to home to see if we can get him to stop spying? Probably doing this all completely wrong, but ah well. It is what it is. Um Dad? Yo, Dad! Huh? Oh! Hello, son. What's on your mind? Okay, Dad, we need to talk. Right, Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. It's about Mom. Um, yeah, can't you think off. Mom would be a little more relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space? Now, there's a fine suggestion. What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? Why we'd all be tempted to follow our own impulses, and there's no telling where that might lead. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Something on your guessing mind? Guessing I'm not meant to be back here. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. Yeah, I'll leave yeah, you it's to all it. the same shit, right. Another day in Hill Valley. The perfect place to live. Uh, I wish you could run. Get in the car, go back to the thingy. This is going to be around here somewhere. The question is, where the friggin' hell is she? Right, so is she's not a biff. Oh, unless she's around the back of the statue. There we go. Because the statue's in the way, I couldn't bloody see her. Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin! Uh, <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors, and... Oh. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> it keeps some pinpointing oh, target, doesn't it? So it seems something was I came. couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. So do we have to drink it in front of him? Right, she threw it in here somewhere. There it is. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Right. So like I said, it kept on... I mean, Parker was in the back room, background, obviously for a reason, so... Do we just go over here and drink it in front of him? Uh, Lorenz Flask? No, not on the gate, on yourself, this you mother. This too hard to come by to just throw it away. Um, if I do that, do I drink it in front of him? Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. Oh, right, he's going to frisk me, find the flask and think it's ours. There better be apple juice in this. 
Uh, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me. Yeah, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that? That booze? Nowhere. Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Can we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Now, keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. Alright, so that's two of three done. Uh, what's the deal with this bin? Step away from the decycling bin, citizen. Decycling? Decycling? Final resting place for all contraband within Hill Valley, the decycling bin ensures that socially toxic items will never find their way back into the hands of the general public in any way, shape, or form. So it's where all the cool stuff goes to die. If by cool you mean dangerous, then yes. Okay. Right, so the last thing we need to do is... Don't take our hand off the left mouse button for a start. Um, is the public displays of attention. For that we need Jennifer to like us. And, you know, we've got what, three demerits in total now? The two proper ones that we've had to get and then a random one, so... Maybe now she'll like us? What is it now? Uh, you and the super You and Leech, Jennifer? Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. I don't think so. So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Uh, but you yeah, are I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm gonna be honest, the ukulele has to go. Yeah, I'll play. I can now play your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? I'd give you two and a half. But first you gotta prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? I was born ready. You got a guitar? Never leave home without it. Hold on. You can knock on my door anytime. Hold it, we got company. McFly, what's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him, there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You wanna go prove it? The Ring of Rock? Ring of Rock, Don't eh? crush him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. Um... Move to Austin and move to left, so this can flourish on people. Oh, that's still okay. So he's moved towards her, we're moving to towards this way, okay. Um Did we climb the platform maybe? Now he's going back down again. Um, I don't know, move towards the amp again. Right, so if we move towards Jennifer. I get him up on the platform. 
So it's pretty much what I do is what he is doing. Yeah, and what then what he does is what we do. Um So I need him up here, surely, so we can do a flourish or something and then he falls off the the plank. Let's let's do a flourish and see what the hell that is. Right, so he's moved back to the amp. Um let's move to the right. Huh. You cut my cord, you asshole. Somebody should have cut it a long time ago, McFly. The winner and undefeated champion of Hill Valley. Claim your prize, champ. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so that didn't go according to plan. Well, back to work. See you, loser. I can't believe you'd let him get away with that. He totally broke the rules. There are yeah, no exactly. rules in rock and roll, Martin. That's why a guy like you shouldn't compete. Um, right, so can we do that again? Yeah? Alright. I can outplay Leech any day. Right, I want go. a rematch. Yeah. Ooh, you got nerves, McFly. You really want to be humiliated like that again? It's nothing but a poser. I got the technique. Do you now? Want a sample? Maybe. If you can beat Leech. I already swatted you once, McFly. Shouldn't you be lying in the gutter? I was, but then your mom threw me out. What you say, my mother? Try not to leave any scars, baby. Right, so we need to do the scissor kick, because that knocks the buckets over that's holding up that bit of wood. Right, now we want to move to the left. Because we need to get on top of that. We need to get him on top of the dumpster. Right, so climb on platform. There we go, and he's climbed back up again, the dickhead. Right, so climb on platform again, please. And then hopefully when he's at the top, he does a move that makes him fall in. Jump up and down or something. No, nope, again, that didn't work. Again, he's just walking straight off the fucking thing. Uh, I guess we're just gonna keep on doing it. Eventually, he's gonna pick a move that's gonna make him fall in chivalry. Oh, this is getting really fucking tedious. So he's playing behind his head. Aha! Right. There we are. Now jump up and down. Huh? There we go. Martin McFly! That was... that was... that was totally awesome! Excellent! What can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. <laughs> you broke my head, Stock. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait, I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? 
A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Oh. <laughs> oh. So what do we do now? Open the window? Some delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number... Jennifer! Daddy! 476 D! Open mouths? And tongues! You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Come on. Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. Shoot, he's gonna have to. Now we've done everything that we needed to do. And how the hell did that hey, electric Jennifer. car get there at all? Are you still angry with me? Angry? Yeah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Jeez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Well, Marty. What's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy gotta do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it? Young Mr. McFly is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps? The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. Yes, you taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, Good. away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. It is, isn't it? Maybe we can sort this shit out once and for all. I always knew your goody two-shoes A-plus student act was too good to be true. So now we have to convince Citizen Brown that is a mad scientist and we have to fix... Why is there statues of Einstein on the clock tower? Didn't notice that before. But yeah, now we've got to convince him that he's an actual scientist. We can fix the time machine, go back to 31 Come and then in, fix it again. The timeline, that is. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, President of the Junior Brown Brigade. Recipient of a full ride scholarship to Strickland College. Winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Portman Award. Zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is... What happened to you? What happened to you? Um, I'm a time traveler. Yeah. It's like this, Doc. I'm a different Marty McFly. Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Um... No? No, we should not. Get questions. You're the one who needs to turn around. Explain. Uh, right, Hill, I'm not supposed to be in this timeline. Uh, Hill, I'm not supposed to This whole crazy world you've created, it's totally mental. There's all these stupid rules and everybody's acting all weird. My dad's turned into this creepy snoop. 
Mom's completely pathetic, and Jennifer's kind of scary. And Biff, it's like he's a zombie or something. And it's all basically your fault. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes. Yes. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. Correct. Cry for help, as it were. No. Yes. No. Wait. <laughs> Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? No, well, yes. Uh, uh -huh. As a matter of fact, yeah. This hellhole of a town could drive anyone to drink. It's natural you should make excuses for it. But here in Hill Valley, we require our citizens to hold one another to the highest standards. Even if those fellow citizens happen to be our own parents. I'm surprised your father hasn't set you straight on this point. He's shown himself to be a very obedient and cooperative citizen. Um... You mean yeah. a warped citizen? He's supposed to be a science fiction writer, not a peeping Tom. And you're supposed to invent a time machine. Time machine? Yeah. Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? Because why not? Well, just for the hell of it, I guess. Yeah. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes, yes, it is fascinating. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because? Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. That's true. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. Yes, no. I, I mean, no. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up. Everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other. When you were 18. I'm Sonny Crockett. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. Okay. Uh, this is the no, alternate reality. this is the alternate reality. My reality is the real reality. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditions. Yeah, you don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Err... Uh... Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your map, your memory. Uh, stimuli stimulate your memory. Because we are still carrying the newspapers, aren't we? There. 1931 newspaper, Carl Sagan escapes. Remember this. Carl Sagan escapes. June 13th, 1931. Yes, I remember the incident back when crime went unchecked in Hill Valley. I'm the one who rescued him, and I did it with the help of your first invention, the rocket-powered drill. The rocket-powered drill? Never worked. Of course, he Failed was Failed a misguided Sagan. contraption with a tendency to explode. Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. So seriously, he, if he doesn't know who Carl Sagan is, he never went back in time in this timeline, therefore he couldn't have ever gone back in time ever, thus creating a paradox. I think. Uh, a photo of Einstein. Okay, okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog? Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offence. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do. I, I do recall something of the sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. There wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. I, uh, bizarre fantasy life. Okay. Go on. Proceed. Uh, what else have we got we can click on? 
Uh, how's this? Portrait? So look that's that what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask you anyone. Really? It's a fact. Go look it up. You know better, right? Emmett? I, I... Wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitani. The scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland. My scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What do you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. Yeah, I'm That's not what I see. What yeah. do you see? Um... Has it crashed? Oh, there we go. Right. I see me and you in the background. Could that be? I think it is. What? It's me and you, the other you. It is me and you. But how? Because we're time travelers, bitch. It's impossible. No. It's science. Your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I... am I happy there? Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe- My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they were afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Edna have got him all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you, Sonny. Doc, kindly address me as your honor. Okay. We Almost worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to Riddy Hill Valley of vice and disorder. Can you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Not so. I can prove it. All right, then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. Okay, so is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back with proof. Yeah, we just need that tape that George was doing, don't we? Should we? Question is, how the fuck do we get it? <laughs>